Hi, my name is Saksham Saxena, an undergrad at Delhi University. Today, I'm going to discuss the deep learning based detection and analysis of chest X-rays to prognosticate the type of respiratory tract disease. A CNN is a deep learning technique which takes in pixelated data as input, appoints significant learnable loads and inclinations to different aspects in the data while having the option to separate one from the other. The pre-handling needed in a CNN model is significantly lower when contrasted with other conventional algorithms. While in the conventional techniques, channels are hand-designed, CNN models have the ability to learn these characteristics on its own. The model is constructed using the tensor flow functions such as conby 2 d max pool, flatten, and dense, which form the hidden layers of the model. Various numbers of filters and activation functions are used to optimize the working of the model. Coming on to the next slide, we visualize and analyze the data set of the images compiled to train our model. From the X-ray images, it is evident that we use five different types of diseases, which are pneumonia, pneumothorax, tuberculosis, COVID-19, and common cold. The data set compiled from repositories such as NIH and Stanford ML Group Chexpert database. We use 17,000 272 images of which 15,257 images are used as training data set and 2015 for validation purpose. Coming on to the architecture of the convolutional neural network, we see the first layer of the convolutional neural network is the convolutional layer. This layer performs a convolution on the input before forwarding the output to the next layer. It works in totally different manner contrasted with the other neural organizational layers. It generates new images called feature maps. The feature maps emphasizes the features of the original image. This layer doesn't utilize the connection weights and weighted sum. Instead contains convolutional filters which yield feature maps. The pooling layer is the second layer in the architecture of the network. This layer diminishes the size of a picture as it consolidates adjoining pixels of a specific territory of the pictures into a single representative value. The size of the pooling operation or the filter is smaller than the size of the feature maps. The pooling layer plays a significant role in providing a summarized version of the features detected in the input images. The flatten layer is the third layer of the CNN, which converts the output of the convolutional and the pooling layers into a 1D component vector to be utilized by the artificial neural network part of the model. It conflates the input from previous layers, flattens its design to make a solitary long component vector to be utilized by the dense layer for the final classification. The dense layer, which is the last layer of the CNN, is a classifier. This layer is nothing but an artificial neural network. The dense layer is a network layer that is connected deeply, suggesting that every neuron in the previous layer sends inputs to all the neurons of the dense layer. In the background, the dense layer carries out a matrix vector multiplication. The values utilized in the matrix are the parameters that can be updated with the assistance of the backpropagation to further alter the dimension of the vector. The layer has a weight matrix W, a bias vector B, and the activation of the previous layers A. After amalgamating the different layers of the CNN model, we get to the total number of parameters that can be used, used to train the model to be 19,163,909. In the next table, we see the dynamics of the performance matrix with respect to the epochs. Coming on to the next slide, we see the graphical representation of the performance metrics. From the graphs, it is evident that the training met performance metrics shows bolstering up for trend with respect to the epochs, but the performance metrics of the testing data 
shows an upward trend with occasional dips describing a healthy learning of the data the next slide delineates the processing and analysis of the x-ray images as is perceived by the model as we see the x-ray image of the common cold is the most diaphanous one indicating the infection of only the upper respiratory tract by the virus in the case of pneumonia the x-ray image is a bit more translucent than the common cold as the virus or the bacteria causing the disease affects only the alveoli of the lungs thus the cloudiness is scattered in case of covid-19 the cloudiness is concentrated in the lower part of the lungs near the diaphragm indicating a specific part being affected by the virus similar to the pneumonia in case of tuberculosis the bacteria infects the terminal bronchioles and the alveoli as evident from the cloudiness being scattered all over the x-ray images pneumothorax is an abnormal condition of the lungs getting punctured thus the x-ray image might seem as diaphanous as a common cold but the model is able to differentiate between the two on the basis on the deformity of the lungs to conclude the models based on artificial intelligence algorithms can be used at times at the pandemonium times such as the 2020 pan pandemic to provide early diagnosis treatment and recovery which helps in saving human lives subsequently reducing the burden on the conventional techniques